Hey guys, this is John Castro with John IT Vlog and today is a quick bite, it's a quick one. I am going to show how to basically change the speed of that lagging mouse cursor movement on the Raspberry OS. And so uh, when I set up my Raspberry uh, Pi 4, uh, set it up, everything was great. I noticed that the mouse movement was a little bit slow, a little bit laggy. And so, you know, it wasn't moving according to my hand movement on the mouse. And so the refresh rate or uh, the polling rate was slower. And so um, I'm going to show you here how to change that so you can have it at your desired speed. And so um, for you to do that, what we need to do is go to the terminal. And here's what we're going to be doing. So just to give you a little bit of a background on what we're doing. So um, there is something called the mouse polling. The mouse poll is basically how many times is the mouse reporting its location to the computer. And that's done, you know, through the USB. Um, and, uh, and so that through the uh, measurement of Hertz is letting the system know how quickly is reporting, how many times is reporting that position to the computer. Now that has different measurements. And so the Raspberry OS has a, a set up a default rate uh, and we can make that faster so that the refresh rate will be faster and closer to a real-time movement uh, that you desire. So uh, in order to do that, we're going to be changing the CMD line text file. That file is pulled up by the system when it's booting. And so it, in order to give all the information that the computer, that the Raspberry Pi 4 needs in order to boot up. And so we're going to be appending, we're going to be adding a new line to that text file with a new poll rate so that the system can refresh at a higher rate and therefore give us a more real movement and stop that laggy cursor movement from our mouse. And so in order for us to do that, what we need to do is access that file. So we are going to access it through sudo super user rights. We're going to access the nano text file editor, and then we're going to go to the location of the file, which is slash boot slash CMD line dot txt. So we type that command and go enter. And this is the file and all the information that is needed to boot there. At the end of that file, we're going to add our line that we need in order to have our mouse go quicker or faster or not laggy. So um, what we're going to do here is add it at the end of this line here that appears on this document and so in this text file. So we're, what we're going to do is type the end uh, uh, if you have a on your keyboard, if you have an end button, just press that, and so that'll take it all the way to the end. And what we're going to do is add a command here, which is USB hid dot mouse pull equal, and here's the rating eight four two or zero, and so eight being the most conservative one, and zero being the complete fastest. Now, you need to calculate here how much really you need of real time refresh rate for your mouse movement because zero being the fastest still would require a higher um, CPU. And so, you know, it would demand more CPU. So you can do, uh, you can start with eight and if that works fine for you, great. And then you can upgrade to four if you like. And so for me, four is what works best. And so you can start with eight. So you do mouse pull equal eight. And then if, if you still feel like it's a little bit laggy, you can do four. So for me, what worked out was number four. So uh, let's do that. So USB hit that mouse pull equal four. And so that is our um, line at the end. And we just what we're going to do here is save that file. And so the way that we save this here file is by pressing control O. So by pressing control O, we are asking it to save and we confirm with enter. And after that, what we're going to do is exit that file with control X. And we are back in the terminal. And now what we're going to do is reboot. So you, you can just hit reboot and enter. And that's going to reboot the system with the new um, rate. And so that's it, guys. And so reboot it and then test your speed if it's if it's looking a lot better than great. I hope that helps out and uh, this is it. This is a quick bite. So thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time.